Hi. Good afternoon, students. Welcome back to our BS class. How are you? I think you fine and stay active form healthy. Okay. Can you study our previous chapter? Yes. Very good. Today we are going to take our chapter 3. Name of the chapter is Silicial, Silicial Shade of Sides. Okay. Silicial Shade of Sides. In previous class, we were discussing about the importance of water. Okay. We were discussing about the importance of water in previous class. Then, in this class, now we are going to discussing about this light. Okay. Now, imagine you now bed without a light. Bed without light. We feel difficult. That is why we can't see any objects around us. Isn't it? Okay. Imagine bed without light. We feel difficult. That is why if not light, we can't see any objects around us. Okay. We can't see wonderful sights around us. Then we can't see beauty of our nature. We can't see colorful sunset and sun, sunrise. And seven fingered rainbow. Okay. These are the very beautiful sights. And so on. Okay. Then we know light is very important. Okay. How this light? How this light see? What is the peculiarity of this light? Light travel in a straight line. Okay. Light travels in a straight line. Okay. For this, we have to be done a activity. Okay. So, we have to be done an activity. So, first of all, we have to be not steps. First step what? You know, play. Aim. Okay. Aim. Then we have to be written to see the light. Okay. To see the light. Then next step. Materials required. Okay. Materials required. First step, we can take thoughts. Okay. Then three car balls with a horse. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, three cardboard pieces of three cardboards in same size. Okay, then we have to be like this in distance. Within distance, we have to be place. Okay, these cardboards you can then at the home. Okay. Then we have to be, we have to be light thoughts. We have to be the three cardboards I place here. Then torch light. Torch light. Okay. All of you look this. Okay. This can you see when torch light. Through this hole, light is seen on the wall. Okay, can you see? Okay, from this we can understand 
that light is travel in a straight line okay and that we this is procedure procedure is three place three cards in a in a order in a same distance then through this when we touch light or we can put the candle light the candle then we can see through this all then this light okay can light the candle can be seen through this also on the on this card okay then and then like this 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 is a pvc pipe with a curve okay this elongated or uh, elongated pipe pvc pipe then we can light torch here can you see through this hall of this pipe light travels okay can you see light on the board okay i think you can you could see light on the board okay so from this we can understood that we could understand light travel in a straight line okay then another another is a you look now is a place okay what is the peculiarity of this pipe this is not straight no like this like this it is it is not like this okay it is here we can see a curve so when we touch light okay when we touch light the light can't pass straight okay what is the reason the pipe has a curve okay understood now yes i think you have understood this activity okay we can now down done okay now properly this candle light light through this hole okay like it is not like not like this okay from this we can understand that light can travel in a straight line okay first step a to see light second step material is prepared so that is called the that is called uh, uh, carbon three carbon set and light candle and a and the one uh, match sticker etc then so next step, we can discuss about the some substances can allow the light to pass okay substances that allow the light to pass through them are called the transparent objects okay we can now this it is a glass this glass can light pass okay it can light it can allow the light to pass through them completely okay then another one under it is a plain glass okay plain glass through this light pass completely pass completely light passing completely through that okay then first of all we have to be hold up and then first is some substance objects column then we have to be written the objects another column we, we have to be it is uh, if plain if this glass we have to be written next next column that allow the light to pass through that okay light pass through that okay another one next one if cardboard if cardboard we light pass that not light pass okay now this cardboard not allow the light to pass okay it is called opaque objects 
okay opaque objects then and one this food it is food through when we like pass okay not allow the light to pass through there so it is example for food is example for opaque objects okay then from so we can discuss about this some substances some substances doesn't allow the light to pass through them okay some substances allow uh, doesn't some substances allow the light to pass through them completely so they are called the transparent objects some substances not allow the light to pass through them so they are called the opaque objects some substances partially light pass so they are called the translucent objects translucent objects oiled paper oiled paper or the white paper oil uh for then we can we can see partially okay so here transparent objects here are water water air glass glass sheets glass paper plastic sheet plain glass okay these are the examples for transparent objects okay and so now then opaque objects some materials some objects that include in opaque objects these are the foods tin paper cardboard iron sheets aluminum sheet okay then next one some examples for translucent objects translucent objects means objects that allow the light to pass partially partially means bhagikamana okay bhagiti okay so these for these for the translucent objects oiled paper okay when it's enough for a tea paper okay oil the paper then rubber sheet then tissue paper okay these are the examples for the translucent objects okay and so now then we have to be um, uh, drawn the like this box then we have to be written these objects in separate column okay now, here explain the transparent objects opaque objects translucent objects then give examples to each objects okay understood then and one here here is a can you see this can you see this you can see in your textbook it is a transparent vessel okay so from this transparent vessel we can see plants and some living things okay fish from we can see from the fish tank we can see fish moving okay so these are the transparent objects as these transparent objects we can see these things inside this pass okay understood now then next we can discuss about the we know water is a transparent vessel can, can we make water opaque how this water make opaque opaque means asukal kaanan kariyatha okay then water a uh, will be become opaque when fog it contain fog fog means manje moodanan fog and suspended impurities in water okay so
So, as thus we can make use this water to opaque. Okay. Then, at the uh, point, if the air and glass, it will opaque. How can make use this? How can explain this? If the air, a, uh, if the air is opaque, leaving all living things on the earth cannot leave. Understood now? If the air is opaque, living things on the earth can't leave. Okay, understood now? Right. Next point, if the glass is Okay, the, what is the use of the glass? Glass is used in front part of the vehicles to see. Okay, if this opaque can't see the objects from the road and from the surrounding. Okay, then under. So we have understood now about this. Transparent and opaque objects. Importance of transparent objects and opaque objects. Then, next part, making shadow figures. Then, first of all, we have to be cut the shapes from cargo carefully. We have to be cut the shapes carefully from the Cardboard. This has to be one part of the A postcard. Okay. Then fix a fix a handle to this postcard. Then we have to be hold near the wall. Then we uh, touch a light di uh, directly that we can see shadow pattern. Okay, now you listen, now you watch, okay? This is the cardboard size. Uh, first of all, we have to be cut the shapes from postcard. Then it has to be one fourth of the, one fourth of the each card, each postcard. Then we fix a handle on to this card, postcard, then we have to be called on to the, the near to the wall, then directly touch on to this wall. So we can thus we can see the shadow patterns. Okay, now you try to do this at home. Okay, and thus we can do at home with our imagination make use some shadows okay different models then we can see like uh, some heads of the uh, some bars uh, some um, living uh, living things okay okay now you can then at home like this using your fingers arm okay you hold your arms and fingers near the wall you can see like this shadow patterns okay you must do this okay and what you can do then next step you what should be done you have to be another model this, this is for the, this method is for the, this art is for the shadow puppetry. What is shadow puppetry? How can I explain the shadow puppetry? Shadow puppetry is a visual art made use of these shadows. Okay, can you see this one? Yes, I think you have done this shadow puppetry. Once more. Explain about this shadow puppetry. Shadow puppetry is a visual art. Make use of this. Make using the shadow.
shadows okay so you have to be done at your home okay you can do and first of all we can discuss about this lights okay lights is a very important like this water okay where the, uh, we can imagine without the uh, where without the lights this using this light we can see wonderful sights around us we can see beauty of our nature we can see colorful sunset and sunrise we can see selecting rainbow and so on okay then we have discussed about the aim activity first of all we have to be understanding the travel of light how does light pass light travel in a straight line to understand this we have to be done an activity first of all we have to be done steps first step is aim to see light through carbon okay then proceed sorry that materials required first of all we have to be take on the three carbons and with the with the holes okay then torch light or other side uh, we can place the candle lighted candle then when we look in through this car we can see light path light travel in a straight line okay then and the we will discuss about this pipe pvc pipe using the pvc pipe then through this we could see light passing in a straight line okay and the we were using we were discussing about this curved this type of the this type of pipe then light can't travel in a straight line okay that next we were discussing about the some substances cannot uh, not allow the light to pass through them some objects uh, allow allow the light some substances not allow some substances allow the light partially okay we were discussing uh, about this some examples for each then next one we will discussing about the transparent objects opaque objects translucent objects then we were discussing about this classify the transparent objects and opaque objects then from this we could understand this some for some uh, familiar with the some objects okay cardboard wood etc are included in opaque objects glass glass plain glass also included in a transparent objects okay then we were discussing about the shadow figures okay shadow figures you have to be a uh, try at home today itself okay then another one what is mean by shadow puppetry shadow puppetry is a visual art made using of shadows okay uh, art, uh, okay sorry then uh, visual art making use of the shadow shadow puppetry is a visual art making use of shadows then we have to be uh, today uh, you have to be read well that book after the class uh, hearing you have to be uh, read well that book and uh, not write a uh, completely you have to be a uh, complete notes okay then up to date you have to be done all works then next class you can see um, then have a nice day thank you